Alright guys, Buck1590 here, coming to you with another action figure review. This time we're looking at the Terminator 2 Judgment Day Ultimate Saracana from the Terminator 2 movie. Looking very cool. Looking very sexy. Look at that. She's not even wearing a bra. Damn, Sarah. Damn, Daniel. So let's open up this bad boy here. You can see the cover. See right there, it comes with the alternate heads. Oops, alternate heads. The gun. The other gun. That other gun. I'm not good with guns, so stop hating on me. Right here, you can see the picture of Kana with her knife and gun. And over here on the back, you get a little uh, read up. Terminator 2 Judgment Day. You can pause that and read that if you'd like. You can see Sarah Connor in all her different poses. Very cool. Includes three interchangeable heads, tactical vest, pistol, shotgun, rifle, and knife. Damn, NECA. Yeah, let's open up this bad girl. See how all right, cool so here we have Sarah Connor opened up and out of her packaging. And I must say, she looks nice. I mean, look at those muscles. Look at the vest. Look at the hair. Let's get a close up on her. This is the one head where I remember it's from the hospital scene. She has like the bangs and everything. Originally in the packaging comes with the one with the goggles, but this one looks nice. You see I already put the gun on her. Look at the detail on the hands, the muscles, that vest looks nice. The knife's also removable. I did not know that until I found out like a couple days ago. You know I had this figure for weeks now. Look at that right there. Looks so cool. Stitching on the pants. The boots. Oh man, it's so nice. Alright, now let's swap her out with the other hand. So here we have Sarah Connor in the goggles with the cap look from the desert look. Essentially kind of the same head as the other one. Ponytail and everything, but they just added the cap and the goggles. Still looks like Linda Hamilton. Very cool. Very nice. Now let's swap out for the other head. And now here's the third head sculpt, the one that looks more like Linda Hamilton. This is the this is near the end scene when they were in the that one factory. And she had the this rifle and she was like nailing T one thousand with bullets after bullets of grenade long, grenade bullets. But he just kept healing, you know? Damn, look at that face sculpt. Awesome. Very nice. Totally nailed it, Nika. Just like Kyle Reese did. Oh yeah. Hair looks great. And this gun looks nice too. I mean, look at that gun that she's holding. It's kind of hard to get her into any poses. I'm not a poser. But yeah, I mean, this looks like the essential look that I might have her posing with my other figures. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it for this review. Oh, did I do articulation? My bad. Anyway, articulation. <laughs> Let's take this guy out. Articulation wise, she's got the essentials. Neck essentials, arms can go in and out, forward and back. One bend in the elbow. Rotation here in the body, because I took the body out earlier by accident. Heads can rotate. Well, not with this head, because it's kind of limited by the hair here in the back. The legs can go forward and back, in and out. She's got right there, articulation in the knee, articulation in the boots, and she's got that ankle pivot. Very sweet. Thank you, NECA. Now, if only we can get a John Cotta. John Connor. So, that's pretty much it for this review, guys. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. More reviews will be coming soon. Sorry about the setup. I dropped my camera earlier. That was my bad. <laughs> Had to edit that out though. But yeah, looks very cool this figure. Definitely pick up like two. So you can have one in different head sculpts. I picked up two. Might pick up a third one. Who knows? Now I'm not rich. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this review, guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time.